Hello everyone and welcome to another Wild Rift Guide. In today's video we are going to be explaining the new support items Relic Shield for Tank Support Champions and Spectral Sickle for Ability Power Support Champions. These items are must-buy items for support champions. If you do not buy these items at the start, then you might find yourself falling behind in gold between you and the enemy support. You should also know that you cannot buy both Relic Shield and Spectral Sickle at the same time. Let's start with Relic Shield. We will divide this item into three parts and we will explain each part separately. The first part of this item. It gives you 100 health at a cost of 500 gold. Also this item will reduce the gold you receive from killing minions and monsters. As you can see, when I last hit a minion, I gain 50% reduced gold from it. The second part of this item. Spoils of War. While near an allied champion, attacks consume a charge to execute minions below 50% and 30% if ranged of their max health. Killing a minion grants 135% of the kill gold, grants the nearest ally 100% of the kill gold, and heals you for 15 to 65 health. 63% of the minion gold earned this way is applied to your quest. These effects recharge every 20 seconds for maximum 3 charges, earn 50% less gold from killing minions and monsters, earn 100% bonus gold from nearby minions your allies don't kill and earn 1 bonus gold per 3 seconds. So let's explain this in details. This item's passive, you will gain spoils of war stacks for every 20 seconds. You can see that I have a blue colored orbs rotating around me. That is the spoil of war stack that you will gain every 20 seconds. These orbs are the indicator to whether you have the stacks or not. The maximum number of these stacks are 3, meaning that you cannot have more than 3 stacks at the same time. If I have an ally nearby, and then I last hit a minion, then I will consume a spoil of war stack, and gain 135% of the kill gold. If I have a melee support then I can last hit a minion with 50% or less health. But if I have a ranged support then I can last hit a minion with 30% or less health. In this case I play Thresh, which is a ranged support. So I can execute minions at 30% or less health. It also grants my ally 100% of the kill gold. So you do not need to worry about your ally not receiving the maximum amount of gold out from it. If you have a spoil of war stack, then it's better to use on siege minion, as it gives you more gold. Also when I last hit a minion and consume a spoil of war stack, I will heal up from 15 to 65 health. The amount you will heal depends on your health. The lower your health is, the more you will heal from it. 63% of the gold you gain from last hitting a minion will be accumulated to your quest. Once you accumulate 500 gold, your item will be upgraded automatically into Targon's Buckler. Also you will gain 100% gold from each minion your ally does not kill. And you will earn 1 gold per 3 seconds. Things you should also know about this item is that, if you last hit a minion the gold will be delivered to your closest ally. So whichever ally is closer to you, he will gain the gold. The third part is a quest. Earn 500 gold from this item to transform it into Targon's Buckler just by being out of combat for 5 seconds after you earn 500 gold. Then the item will be upgraded into Targon's Buckler. This upgrade gives you 150 health and 5 ability haste. Once this item is upgraded, it will open a new quest. This quest is that if you accumulate another 500 gold, then this item will be upgraded into Bulwark of the Mountain. This upgrade grants you 200 health and 10 ability haste. You will also gain 2 gold per 3 seconds instead of 1 gold per second that was provided before upgrading into Bulwark of the Mountain. Once you upgrade to Bulwark of the Mountain, the penalty from last hitting minions will be removed, and also the bonus gold you receive from last hitting minions while near an ally will be removed as well. The last thing you should know about this item, is that it has a passive called Spellcraft. Whenever you get a kill or an assist against enemy champions, the total cooldown of your enchantments will be reduced by 40%. Now let's talk about Spectral Sickle. This item costs 500 gold. The first part of the item, it reduces the gold from killing minions and monsters just like Relic Shield. Second part of it, Versatile, gains 6 attack damage or 12 ability power. Tribute, while near an allied champion, damaging abilities and attacks against champions or structures grant 30 gold. These effects recharge every 10 seconds at a maximum of 3 charges. Additionally, earn 50% less gold from killing minions and monsters. Earn 100 bonus gold from nearby minions not killed by allies, and earn 1 bonus gold per 3 seconds. So let's explain this. If you play an ability power champion like Karma, 
you will gain 12 ability power from this item. But if you play a support champion like Senna, you will gain 6 attack damage. You will gain 50% less gold from last hitting minions or monsters just like Relic Shield. Also earn 100% gold from nearby minions that your ally does not kill and you earn 1 bonus gold every 3 seconds. This item gives you tribute stacks. You can see the orbs rotating around me, those are the tribute stacks. You can have a maximum of 3 stacks at the same time. You will gain 1 stack every 10 seconds. Hitting an enemy champion or turret with an ability or basic attack while having the tribute stacks. It will consume 1 stack and grants you 30 gold. If you attack multiple enemies at the same time, you will consume only one stack, even if you have all three stacks. So in order to trigger all three stacks, you will need to use three different abilities or three basic attacks. For the third part, quest, earn 500 gold from this item to transform it into Heroin Crescent. The 30 gold you gain from attacking the enemy champion will accumulate to the quest. After you accumulate 500 gold, then this item will be upgraded to Harrowing Crescent. After upgrading into Harrowing Crescent, you will gain 5 ability haste and 12 attack damage or 24 ability power. It will also unlock a new quest for 500 gold. Once you finish the second quest, the item will be upgraded to Black Mist Scythe. This item gives you 10 ability haste and 20 attack damage or 40 ability power. You will also gain 2 gold per 3 seconds. Also kills and assists refresh the cooldown of your enchantments by 40% just like Relic Shield. Once you upgrade to Black Mist Scythe, the penalty from last hitting minions will be removed and also the 30 bonus gold you receive from hitting enemy champions will be removed. If you guys enjoyed the content make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel.